Hi, this is the continuation of a series of videos designed to give individuals information that they can use to prepare for a visit to a physician. The videos are designed to help ensure that the individual can ask appropriate questions of the physician and to increase the likelihood that quality care will be obtained. Today I'd like to talk about tinea capitis. Tinea capitis is also called a form of ringworm of the hair and scalp. Tinea capitis is the name used for infections of the scalp and hair with a fungus. Although common in children, tinea capitis can also be seen in adults. Tinea capitis is most prevalent between three and seven years of age. It is slightly more common in boys than girls. It presents with small patches of hair loss, scaly patches on the scalp, yellow crusting areas with matted hair, small broken off hair shafts that appear as black dots on the scalp. The hair will fluoresce yellow green under a woods lamp. This is something like a black light. There may be an inflamed area that looks like a mass or abscess. This is called a carrion. It can be alarming to see a carrion on a child's head but presentation of the child to a dermatologist will help alleviate the alarm in the parents. It is treatable. The lymph glands on the back of the neck may also be swollen, but if left untreated, it may result in permanent scarring and bald areas. The diagnosis of tinea capitis should be confirmed by microscopy and culture of skin scrapings and hair pulled out by the roots. Tinea capitis is contagious. The infection is spread through close contact with an infected person by sharing combs, hairbrushes, hats, or clothing, by sharing towels and bedding with someone who is infected. It is also possible to catch this form of ringworm of the hair and scalp from infected animals, such as dogs, cats, horses, or farm animals. If a child has an infection, all family members should be examined for signs of infection. Sometimes it is best for the whole family to be treated, whether or not the fungal infection is proven. Parents of classmates and other playmates need to be informed, so their children may be examined and treated if necessary. In some countries, infected children are not allowed to attend school. Treatment will be with oral antifungal agents. Tinea capitis usually requires treatment with an oral antifungal agent. Risio fulvin has been shown to be very effective, but some physicians prefer to use other oral antifungals, such as terbinafine, itraconazole, or fluconazole. These will all be used for four to six weeks. Some doctors may also prescribe a medicated shampoo to remove fungus and prevent the spread of infection. The shampoo contains the active antifungal ingredient ketoconazole or selenium sulfide. Medicated shampoo helps prevent the fungus from spreading, but it doesn't kill the fungus causing the infection you must combine this type of treatment with an oral medication. Your doctor may tell you to use the shampoo a couple of times per week for a month and leave the shampoo on for five minutes, then rinse it off. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day. Thank mm -hmm. you.